Communication Center is here now to tell us more, and I think we all would be happy for a good night's sleep, Tim. Oh, Liz, there's nothing like a good <laughs> night's sleep, let me tell you. More and more older adults are reporting less satisfaction with sleep, and, you know, as we age, it becomes more and more difficult to fall asleep. It becomes more and more difficult to fall into that deep sleep or REM sleep, as it is known, and we often find ourselves waking up during the night. We also tend to fall asleep early in the evening, and we're oftentimes not able to sleep as late as we would like to. And this time change thing, Liz, I've got to tell you, you ask any senior, and more than likely they will tell you that it gets to be more and more of a challenge each time. And for me personally, it's taken me this whole week practically to get back to normal. I read a study that says that there really is something to that. You only lose an hour, but it takes your body right. a really long time to recover. It sure does, yeah. several days. All right, how about snoring? Well, snoring is a primary cause of sleep disruption for about 90 million Americans, and that's often associated with being overweight, and I hate to say this, but it sometimes gets worse with age. Um, <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's Monday and I, for, you know, I forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, I wanted to mention that loud snoring can be a sy symptom of sleep apnea. Okay, you have now mentioned it. And unfortunately, uh, you have not put us to sleep, but we got to move on. So we'll check in with you again next week. I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> Good luck with that. Thanks, All right. Thank you, Tim. And uh, you can get in touch with Baptist Health uh, at 370-4700 or online at BaptHealth.com. We'll go to Mr. Food's test kitchen after the break.